we tend to confuse a horse's lack of understanding for a horse being stubborn. So it's important to know when your horse is getting frustrated and not understanding you to be able to effectively communicate with them and help them through the problem. One of the most obvious ways you're gonna be able to tell that your horse does not understand you is that they will respond incorrectly. So if you're asking your horse to do one thing and they do another thing, half the time that's because your horse isn't understanding what you want from them. This behavior can be because your horse is being stubborn or they just don't wanna do it. What I've noticed is um, the majority of the time it is because the horse simply just doesn't understand and they don't understand what you're asking them to do. What this really means is that there's a communication issue on your part or there's been a lack of training with the horse for them to completely grasp and understand what you want them to do. So when you're facing an issue, when your horse isn't responding to your cues correctly, the first thing you need to do is evaluate yourself and look at how you're asking them and if you're missing anything. On this point, you can get another horse person involved or an instructor or trainer to watch you and see if you're doing anything wrong. From there, also review gaps in your horse's training. Is there something that they missed along the way or was there something that needed to be instilled in them that wasn't? A lot of this comes from trying to rush a horse's training or jumping to something that the horse hasn't been prepared for. So just for an example, I worked with one horse who did not understand leg pressure. So if I applied leg pressure on this side for him to move that way, instead he would back up. And so after evaluating myself, number one, am I asking him correctly? And I determined that I was. Number two, I had to then determine, does he actually understand what I'm asking him to do? Has he actually ever been asked to move over from the pressure applied to his side? So I had to start there. I had to get off and go to groundwork and start training him that way to then when I got back on him, he could then leg yield or side pass over. Another big indicator that your horse does not understand what you want them to do is that they're gonna fight the pressure. So if you're applying pressure and asking them to do something, your horse is gonna fight against it or pull back on the rope or just try to avoid the pressure altogether. So what this may look like, for example, is if I want Tucker to lower his head and I pull down here, instead of dropping his head, what he would do is he would throw his head up and fight the rope. And so that's how a horse would fight pressure. A horse that bulks, a horse that runs through your aids, and a horse that ignores your aids is all signs that your horse may not understand how to correctly yield to pressure. Horses learn by pressure and release. So what that means is when I apply pressure, like for example, pulling down on his lead rope and I hold it, once he responds, I let go of the pressure. And by letting go of the pressure, that tells the horse they did the right thing. So believe it or not, horses don't actually instinctually know how to yield to pressure as flight animals and as prey animals their natural instinct is to fight pressure so because of that you actually have to teach your horse how to yield to pressure not only is this just for training purposes but it's also very beneficial to the safety of your horse for example what if tucker put his head through the fence and he got his head stuck if he doesn't know how to yield to pressure he could freak out and break his neck or for example if he got his leg stuck he could freak out and try to pull his leg out and really hurt himself compared to knowing to give to the pressure and more so relax. Once a horse understands the concept of yielding to pressure, it becomes much more easier to train them. Even if you're introducing them to something that they've never done before, they have that understanding that can help them. So I have an online course that walks you step by step through how to teach your horse to yield to pressure in many different areas. But you always wanna start with teaching your horse to yield to pressure on the ground and then work up to in the saddle. So my online course walks you through different groundwork exercises you can use to teach your horse that. You can check it out at shop.equinehelper.com and it's how to gain and maintain your horse's respect through groundwork. How many of you have ever been in school and your teacher was trying to explain something to you and you just weren't getting it, so you're getting really frustrated? I've definitely been there. But the thing is, horses are the exact same way. So if they're having a hard time understanding something that's continually asked of them, they may start to get frustrated. It's easy to miss when a horse is communicating that they're frustrated. So I just wanted to walk through some certain body language your horse may portray when they're feeling this way. First one is the horse will usually get a tight lip and a tight muzzle, like they're just like, Ugh. and so they're gonna be tight in their face. Their eyes may also get a little like, if you know what I mean, when you're getting mad or frustrated and you're like this. Another good indicator is their tail. Their tail may start swishing and they're like, stop it. Another thing is usually if a horse is acting out, it's probably because they're frustrated. So that's just something to keep in mind. If your horse is bucking or bulking or even rearing, it may be because they're just 
They're feeling that pent up frustration and they need to act out on it. So how do you deal with frustration? Just like for me, when I get frustrated, I like to take a step back. So when your horse is getting frustrated, it's a great idea to take a step back for a moment and just kind of reevaluate the situation, let them catch their breath. What I personally like to do is if the horse is getting frustrated, I go back to something that's more simpler that I know they can do and get rewarded for. And that way they just get that validation that they did the right thing. Also check your training because if your horse is getting frustrated, they've obviously missed something along the way. So you're probably going to need to go back and find where the gap is. Lastly, with frustration, always make sure you give a big reward for your horse so that they know they did the right thing. So even if it's like the smallest little try in the right direction, you can reward them so they know that they did the right thing. Another way your horse may indicate that they don't understand something is by avoiding it altogether. Not only can avoidance be an indicator of a horse not understanding, it can also be an indicator of stress or anxiety. When one horse goes to get on the trailer, when we're walking up to the trailer, suddenly there's something really interesting over there and he wants to turn and look over there and pretend like the trailer doesn't exist. Or suddenly he'll want to turn and look around and go the other way rather than going towards the trailer. So that's just signs that the horse is uncomfortable. And the biggest thing I found with that is just finding fun ways to incorporate what you're trying to teach your horse. So if your horse does have a hard time getting on the trailer or you can tell that they want to avoid the trailer, Make the trailer fun for them so you can give them grain or treats once they get in the trailer so they understand it's a good place. Also, horses are just big dogs and they love to play. So if you can find a fun way to incorporate something into like a game or an exercise for them, that is another great way to introduce them to something new. If your horse does tend to want to avoid something as you're working on that topic, you want to make sure you're taking breaks so you don't overwhelm them. Another thing that can help horses that tend to lack understanding in an area is just you being confident yourself in what you're asking them to do. So once again, my online course will teach you specifically how to communicate and ask your horse different things on the ground so that you feel more confident working with them in different situations. So you can check out the link in the description for that or also go to shop.equinehelper.com once again.